Yone is an assassin returned from the dead after a duel gone wrong. His killer? None other than his little bro, Yasuo. Now Yone is back in the land of the living with an evil spirit mask attached to his face, which he uses to hunt down demons and expel them from their mortal hosts. So, let's meet the man behind the mask. Welcome to the Yone Champion Spotlight. For his passive, Yone wields two weapons for, you guessed it, two types of damage. Every other auto attack deals split damage. Half physical, half magic, all Yone. Walk both realms. Way of the Hunter also doubles Yone's crit chance, but reduces his crit damage. Sort of like his brother half, Yasuo. Yone's Mortal Steel also works a lot like Yasuo's Steel Tempest. But Yone's the older sibling, so who's really stealing from whom? Yone strikes forward, damaging enemies and gaining a stack of Gathering Storm on hit. After two stacks, the storm is unleashed, and Yone dashes forward with a gust of wind, knocking enemies up in the air like he just don't care. Then, if he's ready to run like the wind, he can activate Mortal Steel to dash over walls and slay his prey all day, Yone. Yone slashes forward with Spirit Cleave, dealing a percentage of the target's max health as split damage and shielding himself on hit. Attacking minions or lone champions activates Yone's base shield, but if you're a cleaver enough, you can use Spirit Cleave on multiple champions for some added protection. With Soul Unbound, Yone enters spirit form for a short time, leaving his untargetable body behind and gaining ramping movement speed to hunt down and eliminate foes. Once he returns, champions he damaged while in spirit form take an additional burst. Use Soul Unbound to hop over small walls for added mobility, but be careful where you leave your body lying around. Whether you wait the full duration or reactivate early, eventually you'll have to snap back to reality. And sometimes, reality hurts. Another failure. Yone's ultimate damages all enemies along a path. Then he blinks behind the last champion struck and knocks all enemies airborne towards him. The perfect setup for one killer combo. While his ultimate has some serious range, Yone will only blink as far as the last champion he actually hits. If you hit no champions, you'll go the distance and travel the max range of his ult, which could put him in danger. Casting Soul Unbound before Fate Sealed lets you blink through walls and close the gap between you and your fleeing prey without putting yourself in too much danger if it goes wrong. What does one do with an abundance of masks? The laning phase is all about small advantages. Win early 1v1s by priming Mortal Steel's knockup, then using Soul Unbound to go in for the trade and pull back to safety. Or activate Soul Unbound during larger fights for a true out-of-body experience. Remember, Yone is undying to wreak havoc when he's in spirit form, so you want to deal as much damage as possible for as long as possible. Then snap back to your body to finish off foes. Both Spirit Cleave and Mortal Steel scale with attack speed. For a shorter cast time and cooldown, build Yone fast and furious, and you'll be sending your foes six feet under with time to spare. Focus AD carries in mid to late game teamfights using Soul Unbound to dive the enemy backline. And finally, if you're willing to set sibling rivalry aside, team up with the Oswald to pull off the ultimate Drone Wombo Combo. Send enemies skyward with Fate Sealed and let your biological brother in arms follow up with Last Breath. You know what they say. Family that plays together, slays together. Forgiveness is complicated. Well, that's Yone unmasked. Nothing? Really? Man, who died? Get into the spirit and learn more about this double-edged lord at links in the description.